what's up, everybody? Steve Schwartz here from LSAT Unplugged, joining you today to share why I don't love the June LSAT this year and why I would recommend instead taking the LSAT on a later date. Before I get into it, a little bit about LSAT Unplugged. We offer live online classes via Zoom, on-demand video courses, small group coaching, and one-on-one -on -one coaching. Check out the links below this video to find out more and to book a call with me and my team. We'd love to help you out. So anyway, let's get into it. Under normal circumstances in pretty much any other year, I'd highly recommend taking the June LSAT because it would allow you to apply at the very beginning of the cycle in the fall. And if anything didn't go well on the June LSAT, you'd still be able to retake it in July or August or September and still apply towards the beginning of the cycle, if not right at the beginning of the cycle, either way. However, this year is a little bit different for a couple of reasons. First of all, the June LSAT is the last LSAT administration that will be managed by ProctorU. Going forward, starting with the August LSAT, Prometric will be administering the online LSAT. And secondly, they will also be offering the new in-person LSAT option. You don't get that option with the June LSAT, and the June LSAT is also administered by ProctorU. Now, if you've been in the LSAT world for a while, you may have heard a number of horror stories with ProctorU LSAT test administrations. Let's just say less than stellar experiences in many cases taking the online LSAT with ProctorU. And I highly suspect that these bad experiences might be one of the very reasons why LSAT is switching from ProctorU to Prometric for the online LSAT going forward. So if you take the LSAT in June, you are potentially subjecting yourself to a less than stellar experience with ProctorU on the online LSAT. Hopefully, Prometric will be better with the August LSAT and beyond. No guarantees, of course. This may be one of those situations where it's the devil you know versus the devil you don't. But there are enough bad experiences cataloged online through forums like Reddit where students share their rather negative experiences with ProctorU, and we can only hope that Prometric will be better going forward. And additionally, like I said, starting with the August LSAT, you also get the option of taking the LSAT in person where you may have a better experience as well. Maybe you're less likely to have tech issues. Of course, you won't be abruptly switching proctors in the middle of an in-person LSAT experience, and the proctor will not suddenly take over your mouse or take over your computer in the middle of your in-person LSAT administrations. So if you have read some of the horror stories with ProctorU and the online LSAT, you can avoid that situation by going for the August LSAT or beyond with Prometric, and you can even choose the in-person LSAT option as well, with Prometric starting in August, you don't get these opportunities if you take the LSAT in June. And furthermore, you can still take the LSAT in August or even September, October, November, and still apply perfectly early this cycle. If you are concerned about applying at the beginning of the cycle, you could take it in August, still apply beginning of the cycle. You take it in September, still applying relatively early. And of course, you could take it in both August and September and apply at the beginning of the cycle in the fall. So there's no reason to rush it for June just to take it with ProctorU and be limited to only the online LSAT option. And you also give yourself an additional two months to study if you're feeling like you might not be ready to achieve your fullest potential by the June LSAT. It would be much better to give yourself those additional two months to study over the summer, take the August LSAT or even an additional three months and take it in September and still apply early in the cycle this fall. It's always better to apply a little bit later with a higher score than earlier with a lower score. And none of the August, September, October, or November LSATs are late. In fact, they are all perfectly early enough to give you a strong application. And any of the LSATs in the fall, whether you're taking it in August, September, October, or November, are early enough for this cycle. No need to be concerned about that at all. So there you have it, folks. A couple of major reasons to go for the August or September LSATs over the June LSAT. Again, first off, you're getting Prometric rather than ProctorU when you take the LSAT after June, and you're also getting the option for the in-person LSAT 
when you take the LSAT in August or September rather than taking it in June. Again, June will be the last ever LSAT administration with ProctorU. Going forward, it will only be parametric for both the in-person and the online LSATs going forward. I should also mention that I'm looking for a couple of students who are aiming for a 170 plus on the LSAT this fall. So if you have been studying for the LSAT for at least three months, you have a strong foundation in the basics of the LSAT, and you've achieved a score of 160 or higher on at least one LSAT practice test that was timed, I would love to hear from you. Check out the links below this video to find out more and to book a call with me and my team. We'd love to help you out, whether it's through our live online classes via Zoom, on-demand video courses, small group coaching, and one-on-one coaching. Again, check out the links below to find out more. We'd love to help you out. And if you found the video helpful, please like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. It really helps with that YouTube algorithm, and I really do appreciate it. In the meantime, I'll wish you all the best, and take care. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them, and feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I'll wish you all the best, and take care.